this tutorial is over installing the RPG Engine core and getting the full template in an operational standpoint. Um, one thing that is required to get the full template working, the RPG full template working, is the download of the RPG Engine starter pack, which is on my Turbo Squid page. If you look for my name on Turbo Squid, you should be able to find this pack. Also, the link should be inside of the standard operating procedure manual that was included with the pack. Um, pretty much, let's see. We're going to take these two files, the core and the art pack that you get. I'm going to copy these over to a fresh copy of the engine. Once the files are copied over, we can just drop the engine and templates directly in the main folder. I want to also make sure that everyone knows that the latest version of the RPG engine kit is designed to work with the 3.5 GitHub product. So if you're using a previous version, I do not know if it works with the previous version, but everything has been tested with the 3.5 that was recently released. And pretty much I'm just replacing the engine and the template folder that are already here and I'm just dropping everything over from the core engine which is pretty much just all the files that changed from the default release in the engine to my kit now I'm going to go into the art folder I'm going to cut this whole folder we're going to go into the template folder into the full RPG folder and into the games folder and I'm going to right click and paste this in here this should merge all the f all the dependent folders that are needed for the full template to be operational. So now, if I go back, I can delete this core folder, and I can delete the art folder, and now I should be able to generate a project. The project manager. So I can figure out which screen it's on. I'm going to create new, create a RPG template full, call it test full. I'm also, just in case it looks like it's jumping around, I'm trying to utilize the pause, pause recording button to make sure that there's not too much dead space. Alright, so now everything's created. Click OK, click Finish. Open folder. Let's go to Build Files. Oh, first things first, though. Let's make sure that if we go to game, art, we should also you should also have the RPG pack here to make sure that everything is in the proper place. You should also have more folders here inside of the RPG engine folder, as well as the RPG generator and character folder. If you're missing these folders or the buildings folders or any other folders that you see right here, you definitely have your files in the wrong place. let's go to 2010 solution going to build a release and I'm going to pause 
the video till it's done. All right, everything's installed now. Well, compiled. So I can bring it over. Just so you know, normally I use a controller with all of this. So you may not see my mouse move or anything like that on the keyboard. For some, this may take a long time because there's a lot of things that I load in the background for this scene. So now you should be able to go into loading game. Make sure that works. Should be able to exit out. You should be able to bring up the options. Cancel that. Um, for anyone that has a slower machine, I enabled post effects for the loading of this title. So if it hangs or is extra slow, you may want to go into the code and turn off post effects. I will be able to show you where that is in a few minutes. Let's go into the game to make sure everything works. And I'm not sure how how fast this intro is going to be because I'm capturing and I have several other things open right now. So hopefully it's somewhat smooth. And when it loads, you should have full control of the character. You should be able to run around, talk to the other NPCs, make it dark real quick. Let's see. Checking the hoverboard, that works. Going in the fight real quick. Didn't get a little, didn't get any of that action. All right. A few notes. Um, the tracker at the bottom of the screen is pretty much optimized for this current resolution that the game is at. If you make it any other different resolution, the spinning cursor in the middle will probably be offset. I haven't added anything to dynamically reposition the cursor to the center of the track based on your current game screen resolution. That may be something you have to add in when for whatever purpose that you need for your game. Um, but everything should be operational. Let's check. Let's actually check saving game. Let's see. This is a very ghetto save point. So let's see. Let's interact with it. Save my game in slot two. If I go to save again, I should be able to see my save spot right here. Saving slide three. And let's see, they're there. Alright, so let's see. Make sure some other things work. If I can remember where the store is. I think this is the general store. 
Uh, this is full armor. Uh, buy one of these. Let's see. Ah, I hate these doors. What do you do? I cannot remember. Video is working. This is zoning to a different area. No materia. That's what I should name this level. No materia level. Alright. Let's go back where we came from. Since there's nothing here. there was a way I can get the RPG engine to continuously spin while I level is loading. So many nested while loops. Alright, here we are. Back at the entrance of the city. This guy's a teleporter. All right, get some free money for you. All right, let's see. And that should be about everything. Like everything is working, let's just go die real quick. Make sure that works. might actually be a impossibility right now so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change the number of players we have when we first start I'm pretty much gonna remove everybody save I'm gonna exit level if I can hit the right button Just to check, I can come in here and load my game if I want. But to test out game over, I'm gonna go die real quick.
Hmm. These placeholders seem to be there because I exited the, I exited the level without properly going through the right procedures, so all the horses are visible. All those horses are pretty much placeholders. For your starting NPC, so you can find out where they are. All right, and oops! Before I go die, ah, I'm being chased. Leave me alone. Ah. Mm. Uh oh. Die. That was close. Before I die, let's go save. Oh, seriously? I'm probably gonna die. I think I tweaked all these guys to be a little bit stronger because I had about eight people on the field. So I may or may not win this fight. Save. Now I can go die. Really sharp person on this hoverboard. All right, killing me. actually taking zero damage. So they are oh, they are under level to even try to kill me. So I'm going to go up and fight the mega boss. Well, whatever the black version of these things are, I can't even remember. It's been so many years since I made it. I think it's Hellmaster. Let's see if I can find it. There we go. It should be able to kill me just fine. Hello. Yep, I died. Good and dead. Alright, now I should be able to come in here and load game. That's my save point from before I died.
same place right before I died. Living and kicking. All right. And before I wrap this up, I just want to show you what you get if you actually load the application, the template without any art. Go on projects, no art, game. You actually don't get any music starting up. The starting screen seems to always take a little bit longer as well to load. And if we hit new game, pretty much it's going to fail on a lot of asset loading and there's no characters I don't even think the sun operates properly without the right settings I think the water still works but everything is dark and you can't see anything and this is because there there's a lot of things that are missing in this scene so it probably didn't even set up all the code that it needed to set up for this map to even load. If you look over here, there's no buildings, there's nothing. So, hopefully that will help you all get through building the full template using the core starter. And if you have any issues, please let me know. Have a nice day.